Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring another figure or statue review depending on your perspective of an, of an X plus figure and yes we're going to be talking about the gigantic series Godzilla 99 figure. Meeting my icon, Catherine Isabel. Bloody Jacob, for sexy, awesome, exclusive content. And I've said figure about three, three-ish times already in this video. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy to talk about another one of these. Uh, but before I get into it, uh, I just gotta say this is sort of a holy grail figure for me. I mean, I only have a few X Plus figures at this point, but if I haven't said this enough, I have loved Godzilla all my life. Been, been a die-hard fan and just passion admirer of the franchise and the character since I was a, pretty much a baby. <laughs> um, you know, he's, he was one of my heroes when I was a kid, and to this day, Godzilla is still one of my very main passions. Um, and, you know, I have plenty of merchandise, you know, some NECA figures and a Sage Monster Arts figure, you know, all the films, um, you know, Pops, and, you know, some other little things and such. Uh, but just finally got into X Plus figures a couple months ago. Um, you know, I can actually afford some of them. Um, but I was always trying to get a gigantic for obvious reasons, because uh, those range from like 15 to like 20 inches or something like that. Um, and uh, 99 was one I wanted to go for first because uh, Godzilla 2000 is actually my favorite Japanese Godzilla film. It has been since I first started watching him when I was extremely young, younger than I am now. Um, so I thought that was a great, great place to really kick it off for me, at least on that end. Um, before you get a look at the uh, item itself, let's take a look at the box, and the box is bigger than some. Um, very cool, Yuji Sakai. Give you a look at that there. Yeah, I always keep the boxes, I've even kept the 25 centimeter ones so far. And that's just uh, all for storage purposes, as well as, you know, moving purposes, like I am going to be moving in a couple months. Um, so it's good to keep them just to put them something in. Um, so you don't gotta, you know, wrap everything or something like that just to keep them secure. Uh, but it also makes for a good, you know, collectors and uh, just sort of display piece to these things. So I like that. Blank on the back, but still cool to look at on the front. So there's look at that there. And now for the figure itself. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, here we are. I really, really love this thing, man. It looks incredible, and I know my webcam isn't the best, you know, to uh, do these kinds of videos, but I wanted to show you anyway. Um, here's a look at it beside my head, and I have kind of a big head, so if I turn my head to the side, you can see. I <laughs> have uh, yeah, pretty, pretty good size, I'd say. I mean, and, and this is a smaller scale for a gigantic series, really, at least in terms of like his uh, bulk. Um, I know he's a bit on the thinner end and leaner, which I'm not sure would be the case for this Godzilla. Um, but he's still basically about the same height hunched over as the uh, GMK one is, I think. Um, and he stands in this pose about 14, 15 inches tall, I think. Um, so it's still not bad, and he's still significantly bigger than the 25 and 30 centimeter ones. And uh, this is actually based off of the original concept art for Godzilla in this movie. This isn't based on the suit design we see in the film itself, which I adore. Um, but this looks great as well. And it's really what they kind of used for the logos, you know, the uh, the family that was uh, 
you know, researching Godzilla and everything in the movie, and you see this kind of look for Godzilla all the time, and like, you know, black and white and such. So it's still pretty damn iconic. And there's just a lot of amazing detail here, man. Just so much texture and sculpting work throughout the entire figure. It's really mind-blowing. Um, like I was telling my fiance, it looks like he's, uh, you know, 3D. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, he, I mean, obviously he is, but it's like uh, just how much real sculpt and, again, texture they are able to uh, create for this guy. Um, you can feel, you know, every part of him. There's not like a... 100% smooth spot in any part of them. Um, so that's one of my favorite things about them. Obviously, the dorsal fins or the uh, you know spikes, you know spines, whatever you want to call them. Um, that you know really unique feature of the Millennium Godzilla and his appearance in Mega Gears 2 to an extent, even though that suit changed a little bit, still same. Um, but yeah, the the jaggedness, the uh, you know purple hue to it, and everything mixed kind of with the dark red and violet. It looks really, really fantastic, and it is sharp. <laughs> I mean, it's not like razor or anything, but you could definitely hurt, <laughs> get a little bit hurt if you do it with a, a force, I'd say. Um, it's even a little prickly if you're not ready for it, too. Um, but my other favorite part of it would be the face. Um, now, I would have preferred if they just did the suit from the movie, too, um, but it's still pretty close to what we get in the movie anyway. I just love the the neck feature, you know, the, the ridge there out goes into the neck. That's another pretty prominent feature on this Godzilla for me, too. Um, so I really love the look of that. And the eyes are perfect, man. Um, another favorite part of the figure for me, right? Um, again, I know my webcam isn't the best for this, We give it a second to, a second to clear up. You can kind of see it. Just dead-on perfect. I think it looks incredible, flawless. Um, the teeth are painted really nicely. I can't, the camera doesn't do it enough justice, and I know it's not the right thing to do this video, but I had to show it off anyway. It's a great dirty bone color. Um, the teeth and mouth are really nicely painted and detailed. There's a lot of different colors going on there. It looks pretty damn realistic, I think. Um, I love how the hands are sculpted. Again, that same kind of color going with the claws. The feet, just incredible, man. Give you a nice back look at it here. And it is a lengthy figure too, if you can tell. Like, holy shit. And there's the end of the tail. <laughs> now, I did have some issues uh, connecting the tails. You always gotta do the blow dryer thing. You'll blow in the butthole, if you wanna say that, to loosen it up, as well as maybe the end of the tail. And you gotta connect the small section on this one too, like right there. It's a bit of a pain to get this one in, at least it was for us. But once you do get it in there, it stays pretty well. Although this thing does come with a tail base, you know, it just kind of holds it up. Um, you know, so it doesn't tilt or lean or anything, which is okay. Some people think it's an eyesore, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And uh, just a couple size comparisons. I'll compare it to my 30 centimeter Meltdown Godzilla. I'll at least hold them up at a similar level so you can see the height difference. And I, again, I know my angles aren't exactly the greatest, but you can get the idea of the, the scale difference there. So still, this one is quite a bit bigger than your standard 37 meter figures. And uh, one last size comparison will be with the 25 centimeter Angiris. You know, all go on a similar level. <laughs> so yeah. It still doesn't look too bad, does it? But yeah, I absolutely love this figure. This is a maybe my favorite part of my collection right now. I am going to be uh, sometime semi soon getting the uh, 62 gigantic figure, at least within the month or so. Um, but this is always going to hold a special place in my heart because of how much the film has always meant to me. But yeah, I think it looks incredible, guys. I highly recommend picking them up. I got them off of a really good seller on eBay. Um, you know, still a few hundred dollars for sure, but a good price, a good seller. Um, so, uh, yeah, you just always got to be on the lookout and check everywhere, not just one place. Let me guys thought about this. You know, what are your favorite gigantic figures? What are your favorite X-plus figures? Feel free to talk about it below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.